Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie Haney. Welcome to 3 News. The film industry is another industry, like so many, that is learning to live with COVID-19 and adapting. So to talk about that, today we're joined by Greater Cleveland Film Commission President Evan Miller. Evan, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Now, the show must go on, right? So we're looking at the entertainment industry just in a general perspective. What are you seeing the entertainment industry do in order to learn to live with COVID-19 and move things forward? You know, what's fortunate is I've always said that I feel like in this industry, we have some of the most creative people in the world. So thankfully, everybody's been working collaboratively to establish new protocols and get people back to work sooner than later. We've, we've had very productive conversations with the unions. We're seeing progress and some small scale stuff getting started back up and larger stuff internationally. But the thing is, content is going to be produced. There's been a lot of it. Everybody's been watching it over these past several months and there's going to continue to be a need. And I think Cleveland and uh, the industry is very well positioned to get you know going sooner rather than later. And what about specifically here in Cleveland? Uh, I had the good fortune of living in LA for seven years. I've recently connected with a lot of people from California who have decided to come home to Ohio right now. And these people are ready to create. What does that look like here in Cleveland? Is that possible right now? Very much so. I mean, we're really excited at the phone calls we're getting. There is a lot of interest. You know, obviously, we want to make sure the city, the county, everybody is comfortable. And, and smaller scale stuff can get start get going. And anything larger scale, we're confident that we will be able to work with various entities as the numbers start to get a little better and get people back to work sooner than later. But no matter what, when big production really gears back up, probably closer to early in, in 2021, we're going to be positioned to be right there you know, with everybody else. Well, that sounds like that puts us in a great position, especially compared to some of those more traditional entertainment hubs that you hear about. Cleveland does have a really rich production scene. Let's talk a little bit about voiceover and animation. That's an area that seems like it has the potential to be at least a little bit less effective. And the Greater Cleveland Film Commission has a very cool event happening tonight with an Ohio native, Nancy Cartwright, the voice of Bart Simpson on The Simpsons. Hi, I'm Bart Simpson. Who the hell are you? Ralph Wiggum. I'm Idaho. Nelson Muntz. Ha <laughs> ha. Todd Flanders. I get to anoint their feet. What do you guys have going on with Nancy Cartwright? So we're very excited to have Nancy joining us. She's going to be at 7 o'clock Eastern time joining us with Jeremiah from Q104 to talk for a little over an hour about her career, about where she came from, how she got to where she, she is now. And then also just to give some practical advice on how to kind of make it in this business, especially in that side of things. You know, a lot of people don't realize and until you're really in it, how many different industries and, and different jobs are impacted by entertainment and voiceover is something that a lot of people don't think about, whether it's just listening to a car commercial or the radio, voiceovers in all of our lives. And I think Nancy is, can speak to it better than anybody, how it's something to work into a career and be successful with. And as well, you know, obviously have some fun and uh, hear some of her stories and obviously, you know, coming up from Ohio. Well, with Nancy being one of the most sought after, one of the highest paid voiceover actors, just nominated for another Emmy for voicing Bart Simpson, already winning an Emmy, already winning an Annie Award, She's definitely the person to ask about this. Can't wait to see that tonight. So you are doing this event virtually, of course. Remind us again, tonight at 7 p.m.? Yes, tonight at 7 p.m. It is free to attend. Go to clevelandfilm.com and you can RSVP. You'll get a Zoom link that you'll be able to tune in and watch the interview and submit questions as well. We do our best. Uh, we have someone who's uh, kind of on the back end of things who are reviewing stuff, so we'll try to get all of your questions in. But please, uh, if you're a fan of voiceover, if you're a fan of Bart Simpson and The Simpsons, if you're a fan of Cleveland Film, uh, please try to attend. It should be a lot of fun, and uh, we look forward to seeing people there. We very much appreciate you putting on these events, such a service to the community, such a service to the industry. Evan, thanks for spending time with us today. We appreciate it. Thank you again, Stephanie. Really appreciate it. Hope to talk to you soon. Absolutely. We're very much looking forward to that. The Greater Cleveland Film Commission doing its part to make sure that the film industry is ready to take off running when things do open back up here in Northeast Ohio. I'm Stephanie Haney for 3 News.